We're back with cost curves, and we're going to take, a, 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 take it slow here to try to clear up some confusion that I know I suffered in my economics class that maybe we can spare you from. And this is the confusing question of the relationship between the short run and the long run cost curves. All right, now let's think for a moment before we draw any curves about what we're talking about. The long run is the period over which all inputs are variable. When I draw a long run cost curve, I'm assuming that the firm can change anything that it wants to. Labor, capital, the combination of labor and capital, the scale of output, any of that stuff can be changed when we draw the long run average cost curve. The short run cost curves, on the other hand, and you'll recall them from our earlier lessons, these short run cost curves assume that some inputs are fixed. Now, how are these cost curves with fixed inputs related to this cost curve that has no, input, in, no fixed inputs, this cost curve where anything goes? The relationship works like this. Let's suppose we have a firm that has a long run average cost curve. And let's suppose the long run average cost curve for this firm has a, a U shape. What this U shape means is this. It means that at first the firm experiences decreasing returns to scale or increasing returns to scale that, that cause the average cost to decrease. Over this region right here, the firm has increasing returns to scale and the average cost of production is falling. At the bottom of this curve, it's temporarily flat, maybe just for an instant, and that's the point of constant returns to scale. Finally, if you go beyond that point, you have increasing average cost, which is a signal of decreasing returns to scale. So here the firm has increasing, then constant, then decreasing returns to scale. So we have decreasing average cost, a moment of constant average cost, and then increasing average cost. As we move along this curve, remember the firm can alter anything it wants to. It can change the way in which it combines the inputs, it can change the scale of operation, anything goes, there are no fixed inputs. Suppose, however, we pick a point on this curve. And the point on this curve that we pick will involve a certain combination of labor and capital to produce a given amount of output. And that combination of labor and capital will have a particular cost and produce a certain amount of output. Suppose now we freeze capital. We freeze capital at the amount that the firm is using at this point on its long run curve a particular square footage of factory, a particular number of tools and conveyor belts. Now if we freeze capital now and allow this firm to alter its output by changing only labor, we're back in the short run. We're back in the short run where the firm can only change its behavior by changing its variable input labor. All of its costs are going to be higher in that case. Do you know why? Why are all of the costs in the, long, in the long run going to be lower than the costs in the short run? Why in the short run does it always cost a firm?